The Aerial Nomad and Morgan CXT are not exactly your typical track day cars. They're both more suited to driving up the side of mountains or across deserts than they are at setting lap times around circuits such as this. But when you line them up side by side and gawp at them, there's something about these two together that just works. Despite their wildly differing prices and appearance, they somehow make perfect sense as a pair. Even though the Morgan costs four times as much and weighs half as much again as the 670 kilo Nomad. Which one is quickest? Well, we probably knew the answer to that one long before they turned up at the Bedford Autodrome. But which would be the most fun to drive? Well, who knows? But let's get cracking. This thing just makes you smile <laughs> the moment you climb into it, because it's so silly. It's also really lovely. It is not, let's face it, the perfect vehicle for doing <laughs> ultimate lap times in. Not with these tyres, not with all these pelly cases and extra bags and bits and bobs on the side of it, on the back of it. But who cares? Who cares? Because he just wants to go sideways at the merest whiff of a corner, does the CXT. I tell you what though, it doesn't feel like a shambles at all. I mean... <laughs> it does that kind of thing so easily. But it does feel fundamentally sorted. That's the tyres that, that are allowing it to do that at such relatively low speeds. But at the core, this thing feels, you know, decently stiff, decently sorted. The brakes are really good. The Mini GP3 turbo engine, it doesn't make the nicest noise, although it does make some nice pops and bangs out the back, as you can hear. But it gives this thing enough performance to really, really have a laugh with. 255 horsepower, and it doesn't weigh that much. I know it looks like quite a big old, big old barge, this thing, one that you really should be kind of attacking sand dunes in the Sahara with. But it's actually quite rapid in a straight line. It's rapid enough to... <laughs> to, get, to enjoy, to more than enjoy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I know it costs crazy amount of money and I know they're all sold. All eight of them are sold. I kind of don't care about that. Actually I do care because I really want one of these things. Couldn't ever afford one of course but it's just... It's just brilliant. Second gear, turning. Give it, give it some throttle. <laughs> Try not to laugh too much. Wow. What a fantastically silly vehicle. Bit of grass, don't care. You kind of want to spend as little time on the grey bits as possible. <laughs> that nearly got away from me there. Okay, <clears throat> I think the sensible thing to do will be to put a crash helmet on. <laughs> and maybe, maybe the not sensible thing to do is to then get a stopwatch out and see how quick it is against the aerial. I fear the aerial will muller it against the stopwatch, but that won't be the point. Oh, I love this car. It's absolutely crackers. It makes no sense whatsoever. But in this strange place up here, it makes perfect sense. And you've got to be quite wealthy to own one of these. This is not a track day weapon. This is a dirt track day weapon. 
But given that the world of the aerial nomad makes little sense anyway, why not bring it to a proper track and see how quick it will go? I don't actually think it will be that fast because the suspension is so soft and the tyre spec is not very high at all. It's really not cut out for doing this kind of thing. But it is still absolutely hilarious to be doing this. It is a nomad. There's so much lean when you go into corners. But it does mean that you can be quite liberal with your use of the curb or curbs. You've got to be quite gentle under brakes because there's so much dive when you initially put big brakes on. It's very easy to lock the front tyres and actually the rears as well on the way in. And then when you're mid corner, you just you're kind of leaned over. It feels a little bit like a two CV. It's absolutely nuts. And this Honda 2.4 litre VTEC engine is just sweet as a nut. As is this gearbox. And as a combination, it's just wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. I don't think it's going to be that rapid overall against other quick stuff, but I think it might just do the Morgan. Either way, it's going to be maximum ridiculous fun finding out. surprises on the lap times then. The lighter, more agile Nomad is quickest by a country mile. But whether it was any more fun to drive beside the equally unhinged Morgan, well that's another question entirely because the truth is they are both absolutely fantastic. They both make you smile from ear to ear merely because they exist. And that makes them both priceless even though neither of them is actually all that quick against the stopwatch. 